All right, so let's see if you can figure out how to solve this simple math problem. Let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. 5 divided by 2 times a number is 1 fourth. What is the number? Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I want to walk through step by step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is our problem. 5 divided by 2 times a number is 1 fourth. What is the number? Okay, so let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is 10. So that is the number, and if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. And uh, for some of you that have watched uh, my previous videos, I used to give 100% and a certificate of excellence, but I'm gonna kind of uh, just kind of keep it to a happy face and an A+. It still means the same thing, which is fantastic work. All right, so how do we solve this problem? Well, we're going to have to do a bit of translating. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we have to translate from one language to another. So here, our problem is in the language of words, okay? What we need to do is translate this problem into variables or an algebraic expression. So yes, indeed, we're gonna be using algebra to uh, solve this problem. Now, some of you may have just kind of may have just kind of reasoned through and figured this out all on your own, and that is fantastic. But let's go ahead and talk about how we can translate these words into a mathematical or algebraic or variable expression. Okay, so we have five divided by two times a number, right? So we have a number here, and uh, we have this word is one fourth. So we're looking for what is this number? So in mathematics, anytime we're looking for the value of some number, well, it's a good idea just to represent that number with what we call a variable. Now, one other thing too, we are looking at a word problem, so always read this thing at least two, three times. Well, actually, I do have something called the rule three, three times before you start doing anything. So let's go ahead and establish a variable now for this number. So let's just go ahead and write it like this. We'll let n equal the number that we're looking for. Now, if we go back to the problem, the problem says two times the number. Okay, so we have this number, but in the problem itself, it says two times a number is one fourth. Now we'll get to this is part here in just one second, but in algebra, two times a number or a two times a variable, we represent it as two n. Okay, so if n is our number, two times that number is two times n. So a number in front of a variable like three x, this means three times x. So two times the number, would be 2n. All right, now we can go ahead and take the next step in translating this uh, problem into a variable expression and specifically an algebraic equation. All right, so we know what our number is. It's n, at least as far as we're concerned, and two times this number is 2n. So now let's take a look at this part of the problem. Five divided by two times a number is 1 fourth. Okay, so I keep talking about this word is. Anytime you see the word is in a math problem, uh, you want to think of the equal sign, okay, or is equal to. So we could just simply replace this word is with the equal sign. And anytime we have an, uh, an equal sign in a mathematical statement, well, what do we have? We have an equation. If x is equal to 3, this is an equation. x plus 1 is equal to 5. This is an equation, and this is what we, uh, what we want because we have a variable, we can't figure out what the variable is equal to unless we can form an equation. And of course we can because we have this word is. All right, so let's go ahead and decipher the rest of this problem. Five divided by two times a number is one fourth. All right, so here is our setup. So n is the number, uh, two times the number is two n and five divided by, so we have five, 
And then here we're going to set up a fraction, 5 divided by. Okay, so this is 5 divided by 2 times the number, which, of course, is 2n. All right, so um, again, 5 divided by 2 times the number is what? Well, it is, is the equal sign is 1 fourth. Okay, so let's go back here and make sure we did this right. 5 divided by 2 times the number is 1 fourth. So what is the number? Well, the number is going to be what n is equal to. And to figure that out, we're going to have to solve this basic algebraic equation. So 5 over 2n is equal to 1 fourth. So that is going to be the next step. So let's go to take that next step, which of course is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely need your help to continue to grow my channel on YouTube. And the reason why I want to grow my channel is to reach as many people as possible. My passion is to try to make math clear and understandable. But my YouTube videos are kind of like tutorials, if you will. And I love to just kind of take my time and teach in an informal way. But for those of you that really uh, need to learn mathematics, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of the, uh, this video. And for those of you that uh, are not in school but just want to kind of rebuild your math skills, check out my math skill rebuilders course that would basically teach you everything that I'm talking about in this video and much, much more. And if you're just starting out with algebra and you are a student, you may want to check out like my pre-algebra course. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which is to solve this equation. All right, now what we have here is one fraction equal to another fraction. So for example, if I had one half is equal to four over eight, well, this fraction is equal to this fraction, right? So four over eight, if I reduce it, is equal to one half, right? So these are the same in terms of their numeric value. But what we have is a particular property when we have two equal fractions. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and back up here before we even talk about this property. What we want to do is define what we're looking at. So two equal fractions in mathematics is something called a proportion. All right, so remember that because this comes up everywhere in math. Two equal fractions in math are, uh, is called a proportion. And when we have a proportion, i.e. Uh, two equal fractions, we can use something called the cross product. So uh, when we cross multiply, when we have a valid proportion, we're going to end up with this following property. So for example, 2 times 4, I'm cross multiplying, is equal to 1 times 8. So the cross products are equal in a proportion. So 2 times 4 is 8, and 1 times 8 is 8. So this will always be true. And we can use this simple fact uh, to solve this equation here. Because we have one fraction equal to another fraction, we can simply just cross multiply to solve this equation. All right, so 5 times 4 is 20, and 1 times 2n is 2n. So now let's go ahead and solve for n. And uh, we have 2n is equal to 20. All we have to do is divide both sides of this equation by 2, and we get n is equal to 10. Now let's go up here and see if this makes sense in terms of our equation. So this is 5 uh, divided by 2 times a number is 1 fourth. Now if that number is 10, what, uh, what we're going to have here is what? We're going to have the fraction 5 over 2 times 10, which is 20. So the, a fraction 5 over 20, can we reduce it down to 1 fourth? Of course we can. 5 goes into 5, 1, and 5 goes into 20. Uh, 4. Okay, so we end up with 1 fourth on this side. 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. All right, so hopefully this little video helped you out. And this is a big uh, skill that you have to master if you expect to learn algebra. And this is called translating uh, verbal phrases into variable phrases. And it's uh, generally taught in the beginning part of algebra. And it's something that you definitely need to practice if you expect to solve word problems. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.